everyone, welcome back dive buddies to Certified Scuba. Today is a quick video as there's been some recent news in the scuba world that I know many of you are waiting on. Officially announced today was the Garmin Descent Mark II dive computer. And before the question is asked or you search it out anywhere else, yes, it finally has air integration. We haven't had a chance to get our hands on it to this point, but we can review some of the key features about the dive watch, its potential impact for divers and non-divers alike, and where it fits in just the Garmin universe as a whole. I myself have been using the Garmin Descent Mark I watch for the better part of nine months as a backup to my primary dive computer, and love many of the features that make it an easy to use watch both in and out of the water. I'd easily make it my primary dive watch if it weren't for the simple fact that we all know that it isn't air integration and for me it doesn't have music capabilities for above water. With the release of the Garmin Descent Mark II, there are in fact two models in the series. One doesn't come with the transmitter, the Mark II, and then one does come with it as well, the Mark IIi. The Garmin Descent Mark I when it was released was based off the ever popular Phoenix 5 series smartwatch. And just as its predecessor, the Mark II is based off of the most current model, this time being the Phoenix 6. The standard Mark II comes in at $12.99 from Garmin with a stainless steel black band. The Mark IIi comes in titanium carbon gray at $14.99, but of course includes the transmitter that we're all looking for. Both watches have a 52mm bezel and a quarter inch screen, which translates to 36% larger of a screen size over the Mark I. Much of the features that some might like in other Garmin smartwatches have made their way over into the Mark II that were lacking originally in the Mark I at the time, making it a truly one device to rule them all in my mind. Some of these features include VO2 max tracking, 32 gigabytes of onboard storage for music, pace pro settings, Bluetooth headphone connectivity, as well as many of the other Phoenix 6 standards. Now for me, many of these pieces are fantastic additions to the Garmin Descent Mark II as I currently have a 4Runner 945 smartwatch for many of these features and the Mark I simply as a dive watch. The addition of these features can be massive for the true outdoors person who is looking for that one watch to use for diving, hiking, running, ultra running, triathlons, virtually any sort of activity you might possibly want to do all with the ultra scratch resistant sapphire glass on all of their high-end smartwatches. Now part of the allure for Garmin entering into the diving eco space with the Mark I was in its simplicity while being able to add a lot more of the technical nuances and details that some might be looking for. All of which have evolved in the Mark II. Easy to read dives and information, the ability to change gas mixtures, calculating no decompression limits, the ability to plan for and actually do decompression diving as well as CCR viewing off-gassing and multi-day dive planning. In my mind, the only feature that's lacking from one of these smartwatches at this point in time is an algorithm that takes into account your previous workload that you had above land to include a greater level of safety. But with so much individual variability, I guess I can understand why Garmin doesn't do something like this. But a guy can hope, can he? Now regarding the transmitter that Garmin is using, they're going a different route than many other dive companies use when it comes to their transmitters. Garmin is using what's called subwave sonar technology, which will allow for the transmitter to send signals as far as 20 feet without losing it. The major value in this is the fact that you can not only use a second transmitter for a redundant tank or stage bottle, but also truly view your buddy's details with full customizability as to how it's viewed as well. The Mark II is capable of handling up to five separate transmitters at once if you wish. Other new and unique features include a more watertight casing and buttons that are now inductive buttons, rather than buttons that have to be pressed in, thus relying on O-rings a lot less. In the near future, us at Certified Scuba will be getting our hands on one of these watches to review for you in much greater detail, but at this moment they're kind of a unicorn in the diving universe, so stay tuned for that. The battery on the watch itself is rated at 16 days in smartwatch only mode, 80 hours in dive mode, and when paired with the Descent T1 transmitter, the watch has 32 hours of life. The transmitter itself is rated up to 100 hours of life on a single battery, which is self-replaceable with a CR123 battery. The transmitter is available on its own for sale with a listed retail price of $399 at the end of the fourth quarter of this year, so right around holiday season. But, for the money, why wouldn't you just spend the extra $200 for the Mark II? The transmitter alone won't do anything, and most certainly won't pair with the Mark I itself. There it is folks, a super hot off the presses release of the Garmin Descent Mark II smartwatch. 
If this watch does what it says and fully utilizes its capabilities, I believe that this watch will be the one true watch to rule them all for any person who has an active lifestyle. Don't forget to click on the link below to take a greater look at the Garmin webpage for the Garmin Descent Mark II Dive Watch. And as always, we'll see you back on the boat next time, dive buddies. Have a great day.